All right, also tonight, victimized twice. One family trying their best to recover after a devastating fire, now having to deal with scammers stealing what people have tried to donate to help. This is just awful. You may remember the family of seven who lost their home back in February. We brought you a first-hand look at their journey of trying to make repairs to that home. Victor Williams has an update tonight on their situation with a very important warning for people trying to help. Yeah, well, this family has come a long way, as you can see, with the repairs that have been done on their home. But still, they're struggling, and it's even sadder to know that someone out there trying to capitalize off their hardship. We definitely need like a header and things of that nature right there so we can have some support so that the kids can go back to their rooms instead of being in the living room. We still don't have a bathroom. We're just making it work right now, you know, as best as we can, but we are definitely in need of help. It's been a roller coaster for Khalil Bankston and his family of seven, from having a fire destroy most of their home to having to still make the necessary repairs while living there. It's still been hard, you know, but uh, we've been you know, with the, the help that we did get uh, earlier, you know, we, we made it work as much as we could, you know. Just when they thought they were on the fast track to having the home repaired. They're currently homeless with three kids, so they're looking for help. Someone behind a phone or computer screen started causing them to lose traction. It's terrible. It's like, why would you do that to somebody that's already going through something that's it's devastating is what we, we're going through right now. With the help of TikTok and other social media, several fake GoFundMe pages have been making money on the tragedy with multiple donations being made. Local 4 legal analyst Neil Rockine says it's more common than you may think. GoFundMes are relatively easy to set up with some very emotional and compelling language. Which makes it easier for the average person to become a victim themselves. But there are people out there that are going to be defrauded and cheated and it's awful because the people that are contributing and who are being misled and misrepresented they want to help either way the bankstons are still going to try to move forward in their family home this happened in february and we're still going through it right now you know winter's right around the corner and winter is very much fast approaching, so if there's anyone out there who would like to help this family, still go ahead and recover. Go ahead and head to our website, click on Detroit.com for a link straight to their GoFundMe. Victor Williams, yeah, Local 4. Okay, Victor, thank you.